Twain's daughter disapproved of the aquarium. Twain's daughter disapproved of the aquarium. The aquarium club had 13 members, all between 10 and 16 years old. The aquarium club had 13 members, all between 10 and 16 years old. The girls' parents were happy Twain took such an interest in their children. The girls' parents were happy Twain took such an interest in their children. Twain's letters show just how obsessed he was with his angelfish. Twain's autobiography includes descriptions of the members of his aquarium club. He describes them as graciously and enchantingly beautiful as ever any flower was and the epitome of the kingdom of heaven. Twain wrote to angelfish Dorothy Harvey in honor of her 14th birthday. In his letter he said, I wish I could have those free gratis for nothing voyages and nothing to do but look at you every day. After a visit from 11-year-old Dorothy Quick, he wrote, I went to bed as soon as you departed, there being nothing left to live for after that, and all the sunshine gone. How do you suppose I am going to get along without you? To Helen Martin, who Twain described as a slim and bright and sweet little creature, he said, I miss you, dear Helen. I miss Bermuda, too but not as much as I miss you, for you were rare and occasional and select and limited. He built a special room in his house for visits with the girls. The book Mark Twain's Aquarium, and Samuel Clemens' Angelfish Correspondence records Twain's plans to build a room in his ready, Connecticut home specifically for his angelfish. The billiard room will have the legend the aquarium over its door. I have good photographs of all my fishes, and these will be framed and hung around the walls. There is an angel fish bedroom double bedded, and I will expect to have a fish and her mother in it as often as Providence will permit. Twain moved into his Connecticut home on June 18, 1908. He chose to call the house Innocence at Home because he hoped to host many young girls. Twain wrote a constitution for his aquarium club. Twain called his group of angelfish the aquarium club. He drafted a constitution that laid out rules for his exclusive club called the aquarium, issued by the Admiral Reddy. The Constitution required the girls to wear their badge and their head ribbons and noted that none above school age is permitted in the club. He hung photos of the angelfish in the billiard room of his Reading, Connecticut, home, and he specified in the Constitution that portraits of non-members are not permitted. Twain referred to himself as the Admiral and required the girls to write to him once every three months at the very minimum. If the girls didn't write often enough, Twain demoted them from active members to honorary members with reproaches. He called himself a slave to the girls. During the last two decades of Twain's life, he saw the death of his first and favorite daughter Sussie, his wife Olivia, and his third daughter, Jean. Unsurprisingly, the deaths of three family members sent Twain into a deep depression. The loss encouraged his obsession with innocence, young girls, and being a grandfather. Four years after his wife's death, Twain wrote, I had reached the grandpapa stage of life, and what I lacked and what I needed was grandchildren. My heart is a treasure place of little people whom I worship, and whose degraded and willing slave I am. In grandchildren I am the richest man that lives today, for I select my grandchildren whereas all other grandfathers have to take them as they come, good, bad, and indifferent. Twain valued the children for their innocence and lack of exposure to the hardships of adult life. 
He called himself a collector of young girls. I suppose we are all collectors. Twain named his collection of girls his angelfish. Twain began collecting young girls in 1907 at the age of 72. He had recently suffered the loss of his wife and daughters, and he desperately wanted grandchildren. He started calling his surrogate granddaughters angelfish in 1908 after becoming enamored with the species on a visit to Bermuda. He went on to nickname his group of girls the Aquarium Club, and even required members to wear angelfish pins. Twain's secretary Isabel Lyon often chaperoned and arranged visits between Twain and the young women. On one trip to Bermuda with Twain in April 1908, she recorded in her journal, he has his aquarium of little girls, and they are all angelfish. He wears a flying fish scarf pin, though he says he is a shag. Off he goes with a flash when he sees a new pair of slim little legs appear. If the little girl wears butterfly bows of ribbon on the back of her head, then his delirium is complete. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.